Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. So I have quite a large candle haul. Make sure I don't knock anything over from Bath and Body Works. I know the last year has been kind of sporadic with Bath and Body Works, but I have not been extremely happy with my perform performance of my candles. But I've been burning them again lately since it's been cooler. Obviously, we're in winter, so it is colder here in Michigan. I know my hair looks crazy. I do not care. You're just getting Jackie South from Jackie South of Detroit. So I have an online order. I didn't even, I just opened the box. I didn't look in. I don't remember what I ordered online. And then I have some candles that I picked up in store. And one is very exciting. I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so let's get into it. It's probably gonna be a little bit of a longer video. I was so disappointed I love Marshmallow Fireside. That has been my longest running candle with Bath & Body Works. I've talked about that for a couple of years now. I picked up one, and this is the packaging. Didn't realize that it was a very hard-to-find candle until it was too late. So on Candle Day, I think, is when I picked up one. I picked up a few things on Candle Day, um, and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I wanted to get some more Marshmallow Fireside literally could not find it in any of the stores around me. And I've talked about it before. I have a lot of Bath and Body Works stores around um, within like a certain mile radius. So I'm very fortunate on that. But nobody had Marshmallow Fireside. So one of my stores had it as a return and I was able to grab one in the last couple weeks. And then a second store, uh, Joe and I had gone into last weekend, I want to say it was over the New Year's, which by the way, Happy New Year. Um, and I found six more. So I did get seven Marshmallow Firesides. So I'm good. I'm stacked up on them. But I want to share with you, this is the packaging. Not all of them look like this. Um, but this candle is a cult favorite. And I was like, I wanted to get some before I didn't have a chance to get any because you can warm this year round. I know my friend Kaylee Davis talked about that. She warms her Marshmallow Fireside year round. It's toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber, and this performs like a dream. It always does. I have one going right now in the living room. So I did pick up several of these. Um, another candle that I found is the Merry Maple Pancakes. This smells very similar to blueberry pie on cold. I have not warmed this. Some people were saying, my friends at my closest store, that this didn't perform well for them or they didn't like the syrup note in here. But it reminds me a lot of like the cranberry pie. I can't remember the specific name to that one. I don't have one near me. I was looking real quick. Um, But it does smell a little bit like the blueberry pie. It's fresh berries, maple syrup, and cinnamon sugar. It's a pretty candle. It's like a creamy. Um, so I did get this. I think candles that day were $11.95. So, and I also had coupons. So I didn't pay full price for these candles. Um, one candle was an exchange and I'm not sorry about it. I know some people are like, oh my God, you are the worst. I'm not the only one that trades my candles. I'll get them on sale. I don't really like it and I'll go back and get a full price candle. But Mary Maple Pancakes is really good. I haven't burned it yet, but I'm excited about that one. Another one is Cookies with Santa. Um, this is a white barn. The packaging is so cute on here. Um, this candle is fresh cinnamon, brown sugar, and a drop of vanilla. And that's what it smells like. It's very similar to like Merry Cookie. It's very, um, again, I haven't warmed this one yet. They always say it's a new scent, but we all know it's probably repackaged from something else. And I know one of you out there will tell us, but I was excited to get this. Um, and I did see on the bottom of some candles that they are marking um, uh, $26.50, I thought, or maybe not. Maybe they did switch their prices back. Um, which is interesting. I don't know. So anyways, I picked up one of these cookies with Santa. Um, one that Joe got me for Christmas is blueberry maple pancakes. Um, he felt bad because he thought this was my beloved blueberry pie. Um, this burns very different than blueberry pie, but it is a really good burn. I know I've talked about it. I bur I've burned this candle a couple of times, not this one specifically, but this one smells like a Tootsie Pop, like, so it smells like a candy with a Tootsie Roll inside. 
That's what it reminds me of. Um, when we finally found my beloved blueberry pie, which I have one in front of me, he's like, I thought that was blueberry pie. I was like, nope, I'll still use it. It's not a big deal. Wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes with warm maple syrup. This is more candied than the blueberry pie. Jazz, she's come to entertain us. This candle I found 75% off and with my coupon, it came out to $5. I was really excited. Um, one of you guys reached out to me. You actually ordered some Scentsy, so shout out to you. I will not say your name because you didn't give me permission, but um, he did mention that Wicked Apple was one of his favorites and that he was looking for like a Scentsy alternative. And I did find this for $5 with my coupon and it's Wicked Apple. I love the packaging. This was for Halloween. It's got the web on the top and this is a 75% off candle. And it smells good. This to me smells like summer boardwalk and it smells like caramel apple. It's along those lines. So I did email him back and give him some alternatives like with Scentsy. I think Johnny Appleseed would be good. Um, right now in the Bring Back My Bar, you can get the salted caramel toffee, I think it is. And you could mix that with the Johnny Appleseed and I think you'd get really close to this. Um, this one is ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla bean. <laughs> They're all ghostly and woo spooky sayings, but this does smell good. I was so excited to find this for 75% off. Cannot beat that for $5. And then my beloved is the blueberry pie. The packaging is kind of, hmm, it's, it is all right. But what I did notice on the bottom of this, this was poured in 2021 and it's marked at 2450 and it's a brand new candle that supposedly is coming out so it's not marked for you know january 2022 it's still from 2021 but it's juicy blueberries flaky crust and sugar crystals and i have one in my bedroom that i've been warming or burning and you guys this is my favorite this beats out marshmallow fireside hands down i love the blueberry pie candle um, love it. The packaging is, you know, it is what it is, but this performs just like the version from 2000. Is it 19 or 18? I still have several of those. And this one is a Bath and Body Works where the ones that came out in last year were, um, White Barn. And this is good. It's performing well. It is. I already showed it on Instagram. So I know some of you knew that I had it. And then, oh, I got a new body care line. It's the Magnolia Charm. Um, I got shower gel. This was on sale. It's dewy pear blossom, blooming magnolia, and fresh cedar. Um, Joe had gotten me from Philosophy the Magnolia. It's Amazing Grace Magnolia Shower 3-in-1. So I was hoping that this could kind of go along with it. Yeah, it does. It smells like that perfume which is really, really close to Cartier's uh, Magnolia perfume that I really want. It's called Magnolia Pure, or no, Cartier's Pure Magnolia. And this does, it smells really good. And I also got the spray. I think these were $4.95, I believe. This box is super cold. It's not that warm in Michigan. Oh, it's kind of soapy, like shampoo-y. Yeah, that'll go really nice. I was hoping I had gotten the body cream, but I did not. So online, I got a couple more candles to share with you guys before they were gone. I think candles went on a flash sale last week. I got a Christmas cider. This is a really, really good one. And it performs really, really well. These are freezing cold. Yeah, this is $25.50. So I don't know what the difference is. It's mold cinnamon, crushed clove, creamy nutmeg, and simmering cider. Oh, I like that one. I think I've hauled that on my channel before. Winter Candy Apple has been a Bath and Body Works cult favorite for years. And when I saw that it was on sale and I had a coupon, I went ahead and picked up one. And it does smell really, really good. It's a candied apple. It's candied apples, crispy or crisp pears, and oranges. I wish you could feel how freezing cold this glass is. I got another summer boardwalk. I've talked about this for years too. Um, to me, it smells like caramel apples. I really, really enjoy it. Oh, we didn't do a thumbnail. 
Mm. And this is the packaging from last year. Yeah. And it says $25.50 as well. Um, this smells good too. And then the last candle that I picked up is another berry waffle cone. I love this candle. In every packaging that I've had it, it has always performed really, really well. I have not had any issues with the burns. I really do like this packaging and I have several of these in backup. So I will not be without it. Um, and every store I walked into had like several berry waffle cones. Um, it's sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. Something about the waffle cone in here really makes this a great candle. I love it. So there you have it. There is in-store and online purchases with Bath & Body Works. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you're well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!